Hello, this is an unboxing of the Namiki, Maquillet, Nippenart, Dragon, Finish, and Medium. So let's get into the unboxing. This is what the box looks like. This is not a wooden box, it's a, a cardboard box. And the sides says FNF this here. And in the back it says Nart, let me keep an art, fan pen, and dragon Mackey finish, medium. And it's just yeah. let's open it up. Okay, inside we see the wooden box. I'm just gonna take it out. And I'm just gonna put this right here. We see a user and care guide, product registration card, and all the usual. And I guess this is the the manual. Yeah, user and care guide. Still warranty, I think. And yeah, these are all the regular stuff. I'm just gonna put this away for a second. Now let's get into the main part of the video. So this is a wooden box. Uh, I think it's the same wooden box that the, the other higher end the Mickey's come in, like the Ikari, uh, Ikari Royal and the Emperor. So this is a real nice wooden box. It has the Namiki logo, which looks really cool. And in the bottom, there's nothing. It just feels like a quality box. And you open it up. Okay. There's a padding at the bottom. Then there's a Namiki cartridge, I believe. And then there's the pen itself. So it's in a velvet lining. Take it out. Yeah, this is a really cool snug fit and it's like worn around it. And I'm just gonna put this inside for a moment. Now, let's put this. Cut the pen itself. Comes in this plus wrap. So take it out. Wow. This is a true unboxing, it's the first time seeing it in person. There's the Namiki logo and serial number, I think. I can't reverse this. Yep. It's a beautiful finish it says in Urushi lacquer and the dragon And I believe this is the group signature. So with uh, the Mickey Makiei finishes in this Nippon Art collection, I think several different artists work on it. And that's the group of the the signature that goes to. Whereas with like the, the Miki Emperor, where a single artist might work on it and have a sig single artist signature. Okay, so, so this is a cartridge converter. It's gonna so set twist. And let's put this here. Focus this. It's a medium.
Mikian is a 14 karat gold net. And I think this is the only, and the Nippon Art collection comes to 14K, but upwards, like the Ikari, Ikari Royale, and the Emperor come in 18 karat gold nibs. Here's the Mount Fuji. And the Mickey logo. And on the side, and if you can see. It's twelve nineteen. I think that's uh, it was made in December nineteen. I'm using my iPhone to record, so I'm having a hard time focusing. And it's a plastic feed. This is a good size. As I it said, it's a cartridge converter. Comes with the black con 70s. This is a great converter, but it is a pain to clean with because you just have to keep on. Yeah, but it holds like 0.9 millimeters of ink. This is a great, and you can post this, but I'm not going to post because I don't want to damage the Urushi lacquer, but this is postable. Yeah, this nib is gorgeous. Sick gold tone nib. Okay, now I can show some com uh, size comparisons to other uh, pens I have, like this is my pilot pen symbol roll, it's me 23. These are the Graphone Frape Castell and the Corona Le Mans. Okay, so for size comparison, oops, so this is the Mimi key, and this is the Custom E23, and this is the M800, and this is the 1911 large by sailor so it's in the similar size it's basically the same size as the m800 but a little bit slender and slender than all of them and yeah so in terms of uncapped Get this without messing it up. So, yeah, let's line it up correctly. On the left to right, it's the Custom E23, the Mickey M800, and the Sailor 1911 large. As you can see, when it's, uh, when it's uncapped, the Custom E23 and the uh, Namiki are pretty much the same size. And I think the nib size are actually, oh, yeah, E23 is a little bit bigger than the Namiki. And the uh, M800 is definitely bigger. I feel like this it has the same size as the 1911 large. And in terms of, it's also seems it's a little bit longer than the M800, 
But let's look at the, the group sections. So the group sections are a little bit similar. It has like this, it's narrower than all of them, but it does taper up like most of them. All the nibs are beautiful and then the Minky nib is of course beautiful. And my, as, Custom 23 is in, in the fine, the Mickey is in the medium, the 800 is also in the medium, and the 1911 large is in the fine as well. But yeah. The video is already very long, so I think I'll do a different video of the writing sample and just a review of the pen itself after I start writing with it since I just unboxed it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.